Hello, and welcome to the Eric Kamenecker Show, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined with students in track and field head coach Eric Kamenecker. And coach, uh, last weekend, last Friday, in fact, you went up to the uh, armory in New York City and um, took some of your top guys, a couple of your women up there, and um, uh, had a pretty decent meet overall. Um, just kind of take us through that and who had some good performances for you guys. Yeah, it was just nice to get up to the armory this year. Um, some better results than we had last year, and plus it gives us a, a view of the venue before we go up there for ECACs. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, to end the night was Curtis McGinnis. I mean, he had a phenomenal throw in the weight, throwing over 15 meters, qualifying for ECAC, setting a school record. Um, we saw some couple of decent performances in the 400 with Vlad and Richie Case uh, doing some, having some good, good performances and giving some, some more options in that 4x4. And then, you know, two of the highlights of the night were Langston running that 417 in the mile, which was just pretty in incredible. And then finally, Sean Dodson really put it together in that 800 and went yeah. sub two. So that was exciting for us. Yeah, and then on the women's side, a couple of your throws, like I said, Jess Riga and um, Laura Hex, a couple of strong uh, performances. Yeah, it was nice just for them to get to the finals. You know, it was billed as a competitive Division three meet, and so the fact that they were able to get in the finals and get three more throws gave them a lot of practice going into championships. Yeah, um, and then going back to the men's side, like we talked about, like it seems like, it seems like we talked about this earlier, in the past, Stevenson's been over sprints. And now some of those middle distances, the 400, the 800, have really started to step up. And then obviously the mile and, you know, what Langston and Idris have been able to do. So you've got a lot more opportunities going to the MAC championships a couple of weeks to earn points in some of those middle distance events. Yeah, I mean, those events are really going to help us compete for a conference championship. You know, we have always been sprint heavy, uh, jumps heavy. And now that we have, we can almost count on almost 20, to, if not more, points from our distance yeah. team. It's really going to help us compete for a conference championship. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, you've got a couple of weeks of rest now, you know, before the conference championship because that's at the end of the month. Um, you know, what what's the mindset? What do you do in those in these next couple of weeks to prepare for that conference meet? And the biggest thing is stay healthy. You know, that flu bug is going around, and hopefully it's winding down. Um, it's made its way through our team. So the biggest thing is stay healthy. This will be the last week of hard training, uh, especially not having a meet this weekend. And then going into next week, is this, you know, fine-tuning some of the things that we've been working on and, again, continue to stay healthy and get recovered and rest it. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, staying healthy, the biggest thing, as we all know, like we said, there's a lot of stuff going around right now. Right. Uh, I think I caught myself a couple of weeks ago. So, <laughs> um, but anyway, so uh, we'll talk a little bit more about MAC championships next week. But, um, you know, best of luck to you guys as you're training. Get ready. Yeah, we're excited for this week to get some time just to fine-tune. All right, great, Coach. Thanks for your time. Thank you. For Eric Kamadeka, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.